like any star, it will run out of fuel in its core and it starts changing. It starts bloating and getting so large that it will engulf the orbit of Mercury and Venus and come very close to Earth. So imagine looking on the horizon and sunrise is half the sky. Prepare to be captivated by the latest revelation from astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. Get ready to embark on an exhilarating exploration of Betelgeuse, an enormous star that could engulf the orbit of Mars and stretch through the asteroid belt if it traded places with our humble sun. Standing a mere 700 light years away, Betelgeuse proudly holds the title of the closest star to our sun that will eventually meet its explosive demise in a supernova spectacle. But Betelgeuse's allure doesn't end there. With its captivating orange-red glow, it sets the night sky ablaze and captures our imaginations. This celestial giant is also known for its variability, meaning it can play with its brightness, sometimes shining so brilliantly that it challenges even the most radiant stars, reaching a jaw-dropping magnitude close to 0, 0.0. Recently, reports have emerged claiming that Betelgeuse has exploded, promising us an immensely thrilling and potentially terrifying experience. But is this truly the case? Let's find out. Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orionis, is one of the most well-known and prominent stars in the night sky. It's located in the constellation Orion and is easily visible to the naked eye. It's a red supergiant, a type of massive star nearing the end of its life cycle. In terms of its physical characteristics, Betelgeuse is a massive star with a diameter estimated to be around 1,000 times that of our sun. It has a reddish color, which is a characteristic feature of red supergiants due to their relatively cool surface temperatures. Betelgeuse pulsates, meaning it undergoes periodic changes in size and brightness, making it a variable star. The star has drawn a lot of attention in recent years due to its unusual dimming episodes. In late 2019 and early 2020, Betelgeuse experienced a significant dimming event, which sparked speculation and interest among astronomers and the general public. One of the most intriguing aspects of stars is their ability to shine with varying brightness, and Betelgeuse is no exception. Consider Rigel and Aldebaran, two stars that showcase dramatically different levels of luminosity. While Aldebaran can rival Rigel's brilliance at its brightest, it can appear comparably faint at its dimmest. This fluctuation in brightness is influenced by various factors, such as the star's size, temperature, and distance from Earth. And when it comes to Betelgeuse, its captivating journey through luminosity adds an extra layer of fascination to the celestial narrative. Another interesting fact about Betelgeuse is that it stands proudly as a solitary star, unaffiliated with any larger astronomical group. It resides outside the regions where new stars are born, making it a captivating celestial outlier. Intriguingly, despite its enormous size, Betelgeuse surprises us with its cooler surface temperatures of 5,778 degrees Kelvin, in contrast to the searing heat of our own sun. At a youthful age of merely 10 million years, Betelgeuse stands as a cosmic adolescent, while our sun boasts an impressive age of 4.6 billion years. This age discrepancy only adds to the enigmatic allure that surrounds Betelgeuse. Now, let's address the most captivating aspect of Betelgeuse the possibility of a supernova explosion. Since the supernova witnessed in our galaxy back in 1604, we have eagerly awaited the next awe-inspiring spectacle. However, it was the eruption of a supernova in the large Magellanic Cloud in 1987 that demonstrated the tremendous power and far-reaching consequences of such an event, even from a staggering distance of 169,000 light years. But what about Betelgeuse? Has it truly exploded? As rumors and speculations suggest, well, the current scientific consensus indicates that Betelgeuse has not yet gone supernova. Though it has exhibited intriguing dimming episodes in recent years, its overall behavior remains consistent with the natural variations observed in many stars. Astronomers continue to monitor Betelgeuse closely, eagerly anticipating the day when it may unleash its spectacular cosmic display. A crucial thing to know here is that the sheer brilliance of Betelgeuse comes with a price. This massive star is rapidly depleting its fuel, hastening its journey towards the end of its existence. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is nearing the later stages of its stellar evolution. It has already fused hydrogen into helium and progressed to fusing heavier elements in its core. When Betelgeuse exhausts its nuclear fuel, it will undergo a catastrophic event. The star's core will collapse under its own immense gravitational pull, triggering a violent explosion. 
This explosive event will release an enormous amount of energy and generate a shockwave that will race through the star's outer layers. When Betelgeuse eventually goes supernova, it will become extraordinarily bright, possibly rivaling the brightness of the full moon. The explosion will be so intense that it could even be visible during the daytime from Earth. This would be an awe-inspiring spectacle for astronomers and stargazers alike. However, the exact timing of Betelgeuse's supernova remains uncertain. It could occur today, or it could be a million years from now. Betelgeuse has experienced dimming episodes in the past, adding to the intrigue surrounding its behavior. In late 2019, the star notably dimmed, causing speculation about a potential imminent eruption. However, Betelgeuse subsequently restored its brightness, leaving astronomers with more questions than answers. Fortunately, even if Betelgeuse were to go supernova, it would have no direct impact on Earth. The estimated minimum distance for a supernova to significantly affect our planet is around 50 light years. With Betelgeuse being over 500 light years away, any potential consequences from its explosion would be negligible. It is worth noting that other massive stars like VY Canis Majoris have displayed similar dimming episodes on a larger scale. These events, though intriguing, are challenging to fully understand due to the complex nature of stellar behavior and the multitude of factors that can contribute to changes in a star's brightness. Another amazing thing about Betelgeuse is that being a massive and evolved star, it generates a powerful stellar wind. This wind consists of streams of charged particles, primarily hydrogen and helium ions, that are ejected from the star's outer layers into space. The stellar wind from Betelgeuse is estimated to have a velocity of around 17 kilometers per second and can travel vast distances, shaping the surrounding interstellar medium. These winds play a crucial role in the evolution of stars as they carry away mass from the star's outer layers and influence the distribution of elements in the surrounding space. The stellar wind from Betelgeuse is particularly intriguing due to the star's variable nature. As a semi-regular variable star, Betelgeuse undergoes pulsations, expanding and contracting in size. During the expansion phase, the outer layers of the star become less gravitationally bound, allowing the stellar wind to be more easily accelerated and ejected. This results in episodes of increased mass loss, where Betelgeuse sheds its outer layers into space. Another fascinating phenomenon associated with Betelgeuse is starquakes. Just like earthquakes on Earth, stars can experience quakes caused by internal processes. These starquakes result from the interaction of various instabilities within the star, such as convective motion and the oscillation of gas layers. These quakes can cause the surface of the star to ripple and create fluctuations in its brightness. In fact, it experiences significant convection motion in its outer layers. This convective motion can generate powerful turbulent motions and create starquakes. The energy released during these starquakes can cause the star's surface to vibrate and exhibit changes in its brightness. Studying these starquakes can provide insights into the internal structure and dynamics of Betelgeuse. Coming back to the dimming of Betelgeuse, it has captured significant attention due to its unusual behavior. Betelgeuse, one of the brightest stars in the sky, has experienced a decline in its brightness, moving it from the top 11 to around the 21st position among the brightest stars. This fading has raised curiosity and speculation with some theories suggesting that it might be a precursor to a supernova explosion. However, most astronomers and astrophysicists believe that the dimming is caused by other factors, such as gas or dust explosions, or fluctuations in the star's surface brightness. They anticipate that Betelgeuse will eventually return to its normal state, dismissing the idea of an imminent supernova. Aside from its known variability, where it fluctuates in brightness over time, there are several interesting theories that have been put forward to explain its behavior. One intriguing theory proposes that Betelgeuse might have already exploded as a supernova, but the light from the explosion has yet to reach us due to its immense distance from Earth. If this theory holds true, it means that we could potentially witness the spectacular supernova event in the coming years or centuries. The anticipation of observing such a rare cosmic event has generated significant excitement and speculation among astronomers and the general public alike. Another theory suggests that Betelgeuse experiences periodic ejections of massive dust clouds into space. These dust clouds could temporarily obstruct the star's light, causing it to appear dimmer. The ejections might be triggered by internal processes within the star or interactions with its binary companion, if it exists. 
The presence of a binary companion could significantly influence Beetlejuice's behavior, including its mass loss and pulsations. Internal instabilities within Beetlejuice are also thought to contribute to its variability. Changes in nuclear reactions, convective processes, or magnetic fields within the star could lead to fluctuations in its brightness. These instabilities are still not fully understood, and further research is being conducted to unravel the precise mechanism behind Betelgeuse's pulsations and variability. The star's mass loss occurring through powerful stellar winds is another significant factor that has garnered attention. Betelgeuse is known to be losing mass at a substantial rate, and this could have implications for its eventual supernova explosion. The interplay between mass loss and the star's evolution is a complex and active area of study as scientists aim to understand the connection between a star's mass loss and its final stages before going supernova. These theories and speculations contribute to the ongoing fascination with Betelgeuse and the study of massive stars. They highlight the intricate nature of stellar evolution and the multitude of factors that can influence the behavior of these celestial giants. Researchers continue to observe and analyze Betelgeuse, collecting data to further refine these theories and gain a deeper understanding of the star's behavior. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts and speculations about the potential explosion of Betelgeuse? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.